Hi, I'm Pierce Jentz with Baratza Support. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up the hook assembly on your new SETE 270W. Having the hook adjusted properly is crucial for operation. If the hook is maladjusted, the grinder will underdose and the scale will read erratically. The first step in setting up your portafilter holder on the SETE 270W is to hang it into place and make sure that it fits. For example, the double shot portafilter that I have here has a lip whereas my bottomless does not. Now this lip makes it not fit well unless the rubber slip-ons are rotated so the points are facing towards each other. On the contrary, my bottomless portafilter needs the extra support of the lips pointed up. Once you have the rubber slip-ons rotated to best fit your portafilter, we're going to turn our attention to the hook. The hook needs to be adjusted so that the portafilter is held flat and level. That is, the basket is flat and level with the fork arms. This is crucial for proper operation. Right now, the way the hook is adjusted, you can see the portafilter wants to sit at an angle. This will result in erratic operation and underdosing. To adjust for my bottomless portafilter, I need to lower the hook. To do so, remove the portafilter and loosen the two millimeter hex screw that holds the hook in place. You need only rotate this a turn or two counterclockwise to have it loosened to the point where you can adjust the fork. Now that the fork is ready to adjust, set your portafilter into place and take care to note what position is best and keeps it flat against the arms. Find a good spot where it's nice and flat and then set your fork height so it supports it in that position. Now we can remove the portafilter, tighten the hex screw, and then check to make sure that the hook is still at the proper level. Now I tightened the hook, but it must have come up just a bit while I was doing so. It's hard to see on camera, but there is a gap near the front, near the, near the point on the slip-on. And most of the weight of the portafilter is on the end of the arm. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it, loosen the 2 millimeter screw, and lower the fork just a bit more, and then check it again. Now you can see, hopefully, that the gap has been eliminated and now the portafilter has good contact all the way down the arm. Second, the nipple on the bottom of the hook is on the inside of the basket. And you can see that the portafilter does press up gently on the hook, but not a lot. The weight is balanced across the arms. That is the important thing to note here.